Hey, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to calculate weekdays and weekend sales commission using a power query. So let's dive in. Hey, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and turn on the bell icon to be apprised when a new video comes up. So let's dive in. Now, based on our data set, we have four columns. We have the date, region, brand, and the total columns. Our goal is very simple. For all the date value that falls between the weekday, that is Mondays to Fridays, we want to multiply the total by the weekday commission rate, which is 6%. And for all the date value or the transaction recorded during the weekend, that is on Saturdays and Sunday, we want to multiply the total by the weekend commission rates. So let's roll in and see how to do this in the Power Query. So what I'm going to do first is to format this data as an Excel table. And to do that, Control T and you click Enter or OK. So we have the data formatted as an Excel table. Secondly, I want to get this into the Power Query. To do that, you can right click and choose Get Data from Within Sheets. All right, so in the Power Query Editor, we have our data sets. So I want to perform two quick transformations. First and foremost, I want to change this to the proper date data type. So right click and choose Change Type and Want Date. So I'm going to replace the current step. Secondly, I want to give a descriptive name for my query. So you can double click and type in whatever you want as the query name. Click Enter. In this case, we're going to use F Sales Data. Thirdly, let's write the M code. So click on the Add Column tab. Under the General, click on Custom Column. In the Custom Column dialog box, I'm going to give a meaningful name for my column. So I'm going to call this one Commission. And for the Custom Column formula, I'm going to use the if function. Now, in the Power Query, the if function is slightly different from the way it is used in the Excel worksheet based. Okay. For example, in the worksheet on the Excel spreadsheet. When you write the if function, you need to open the parentheses and then you provide a logical test, comma, followed by the value if true, comma, followed by the value if false. But in the Power Query, we're going to use the if function. It could be uppercase or lowercase. It is not case sensitive. Secondly, we do not need any open or closed parentheses. Thirdly, instead of using the comma, we do not use that in the Power Query. We use then and for the value if false, we use else. So let's do that. So if now I'm going to use the function called date dot day of the week. M so type that date dot day of the week. Then we we'll press the tab key. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Now this is just like the normal weekday function in the worksheet. Okay. So open parentheses. Now we need to provide the date value. So I'm going to give the date value column here. Comma. Now, the second argument is we need to provide which of the day do we want as the first day of the week. So, in this case, we want to provide Monday. So, I'm going to type in um, day.monday as the first day of the week. So, let me get rid of this additional one also. And then we close the parentheses. Next, we're going to use greater than or equals to 6. So, this simply means that any day that is greater than or equals to six it's going to be on Saturdays and Sunday respectively. So our weekday is one to five, which is Monday to Friday. So if date dot if date dot day of the week is greater than or equals to six, so we're going to use then, and then we need to provide the value if true, just like in Excel. So I'm going to take the total and multiply by the commission rate for the weekend which is 10% so 0 0.10 otherwise that is else i'm going to take the total and multiply by the weekday commission which is 6% 0 0.06 all things being equal our formula m code is going to work properly okay no error detected so let's click on okay cool and let's apply currency so we have calculated the commission for the weekday and the weekend. So let's load to the Excel worksheet. Oh, close and load. Close and load to, and then we want to load to a table in the current sheet. And let's dump in cell K1 and click OK. 
Okay, so this is absolutely amazing. Let's apply currency formatting. Control Shift to write down. Control Shift four. Get rid of the decimals. Okay. All right. So we have calculated the total sales. Okay, for the weekday and the weekend. Now I'm going to do something quickly. I'm going to sort this from largest. I want to show you something. Sort this from the largest to the smallest. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Sort largest to the smallest all right so let me create an additional column control shift the equal sign then we'll call this on weekday just to show you something and i'm going to use the text function and the value is going to be this in cell a to this structured reference syntax comma and for the format i want the date in full d in four places close the double code close the parentheses and control enter bam all right so you can actually see that this particular date on the 21st of um, 11th, that is November 2021, is actually on Sunday. So let's just do a quick math. Equal sign. Take this value, multiply by the 10%. Control enter. Cool. Let's check this one also. Can you see we have the same, you know, result that is accurate? Let's take a weekday, for instance. Take this one Monday, multiply this value by the 6%. Control enter and we have um, 488, which is accurate. So, this is essentially how we use the Power Query M code to calculate weekdays and weekend sales. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.